Greetings, true believers, in the words of the immortal Stanley. The road to San Diego Comic Con is here. All of you WrestleMania <laughs> fans will, will get that. You know, once we get to the Royal Rumble, everything is the road to WrestleMania is here. And every Tuesday, it's like the Tuesday before WrestleMania is here. So <laughs> why not? That's what we're building to. It's the same organizer for WonderCon and San Diego Comic Con. So let's officially dub this the road to San Diego Comic Con because that's that's going to be super exciting. But WonderCon is this weekend, and at BluefinBrands.com, we're going to have a a load of special items on the website, some very limited edition items that were part of previous uh, exclusive sales. For example, the Tamashii Nations, you know, Blue Godzilla, uh, the Brawly, and the Vegito SH, or sorry, Figure Art Zero uh, figures will be available for a limited time on our website. You can also get these at the pop-up shop in New York. If you're in New York, Tamashii Nations has a cool pop-up shop where you can also pick these figures up. Storm Collectibles has some cool stuff too. They're going to actually be bundling together their three and just three of their Injustice villains. You know, we have Darkseid, we have Lobo, we have Doomsday, all for two hundred ninety dollars in honor of Zack Snyder's Justice League, uh, which we'll be talking about tomorrow in uh, greater detail. Storm also has the Motaro Bloody Edition. Uh, this one is going quick. Everyone loves it. You know, the green skeleton really, really adds to it. Uh, and uh, you know, Flame Toys. You know, it wouldn't be a sale if we didn't have some cool stuff from Flame Toys. Dave will talk more about those later. But during the sale, if you buy a Flame Toys kit, you are going to get one of the uh, the Sentinel export stands that are maybe the greatest stand in the history of stands. <laughs> they're they're pretty cool, you know. They're it's a pretty they're good. Nice. Yeah, they're really cool. You're going to get one free uh, with every every Flame model kit you purchase. Uh, we also are going to have a great deal on Studio Ghibli. So you see this little guy? He's a little he's a little duster. He dusts. <laughs> uh, all pre-order Studio Ghibli items are going to be fifteen percent off uh, during WonderCon uh, and. Uh, uh, a little bit past WonderCon, but uh, you know we'll let you know when that sale is going to end. Shogun's entering the mix. Uh, you know they they don't do a lot of their sales, but whenever they do, it's really impactful. You know they have six Keyblades for thirty six dollars. You know anyone is Kingdom Heart fan. You know these. You know they're technically keychains, but uh, I would imagine they would fit pretty pretty nice in the hands of a. Uh, of any Kingdom Hearts figures you may have from somewhere else. <laughs> uh, you know, all of this is at Bluefin Brands. We also have a contest going, of course, bluefinbrands.com slash contest. We're going to be giving away five SH figure arts from Marvel. It's going to be the final battle giveaway. You're going to get final battle editions of Thanos, of Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, and the Iron Spider. It's an incredible giveaway. These are some of my favorite SH figure arts, and uh, you can enter to win it at bluefinbrands.com slash contest. So... Now that we got all that out of the way. It's a lot. <laughs> it was a lot to digest. Yes. I tried to talk fast so we could get to the meat of the show that everyone wants to hear faster. Uh, we will be doing live streams all day tomorrow. We're going to have four on tap. Uh, you know, the, oh, dark side. Um, we are going to have tomorrow at 10 o'clock. We're going to have a, a live stream at 12 o'clock. Uh, I believe at 4 o'clock. And there's going to be a special tour of the Tomashi Nation's pop-up shop uh, sometime in the afternoon as well. So... Let's talk about today now, guys. Today we are going to be talking about Marvel, the MCU. Endgame is well behind us. You know, we're like two years removed from Endgame. That's that's old news. Thanos, bad things happened. The future of the MCU, you know, obviously they're going to want to build to a next big baddie. We reached out to social media. You guys gave us some answers. But I have assembled a crack team of investigative fictional universe journalists who have combed the internet, who have combed the comic books, who have who have meticulously analyzed power rankings with magnifying glasses and slide rules, and they've created their own custom algorithms. So, Justin, how are you today? I am fabulous, David. Thank you very much. Very excited to talk about Marvel big bad guys. They uh, they make me nervous. Nice. Oh. Do, you, do you think that, you know, we kind of built to Thanos, you know, these 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 first 23 movies were called the Infinity Saga. Do you... Do you like the idea of having a big bad for you know a dozen movies, or are you more a uh, kind of a traditional freak of the week type episode? Yeah, I, I think that it should be a culmination of multiple films that, that brings us to this ultimate point. I mean, when you think about uh, just how crazy the last like twelve years were for starting with Iron Man all the way to freaking Endgame. That is uh, an incredible feat that they put together to have all of those people into one movie, and I, I can't imagine something like that ever happening again. But if even if it's on a on a smaller scale with with a new big bad, I think that would be great. Maybe they make an appearance in one movie and then they show up again four movies later, and then eventually uh, a final showdown. But either way, I, I am definitely a fan of developing a villain. Maybe they're just creepy crawling in the background and pulling some strings. And then ultimately a final showdown. I think that'd be fantastic. Nice. AJ, welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing today? 
I'm doing well. Just right. well? Yeah, I mean, we're going to talk about Marvel right now, so I'm already, like, thinking ahead, but at the same time, I'm not that crack detective that, uh, you know, you so happen to have said earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, like, do, you, do you like the idea of an overarching villain? Yeah, I think uh, overall, like having like this whole or like arc, like you said, you know, you get it pays off at the very end. You know, you're like, I think I forget which movie had it when Thanos was like, "I'll I'll do it myself." I'm like, whoa, you know, that's amazing. Uh, so definitely, you know, you get rewarded for watching all the movies. <laughs> I like yeah, that. Absolutely. Uh, David, how are you today? I'm marvelous. Ooh, no, yeah. I was there. leaving it for him. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> now, if, if we were to have an overarching villain, you know, for these next, you know, 15 or 10, however many dozen movies we, we want to have it for, how, uh, how interactive do you want that villain to be? Do you want it to be something where, like, he's just like, he or she, you know, is just kind of a, a whisper in the beginning and then slowly builds to where they're, they're more and more prevalent? Or do you want, like, bam, he's in our face and he's just this omnipresent, like, just fixture in the movies? Well, it kind of, like, for me, it, it depends on who it is. So, like, I've kind of narrowed it down to four choices that I would like to see. So if it's Mephisto, I'd like to see him just making certain deals with people. So, you know, like, in the comics, you know, like, he that he had Scarlet Witch's children, right? So she may have to make a deal that's going to come back to bite her to get her kids back. Um, you know, one thing that they might be doing for Spider-Man, you know, with his, with his identity being out, you know, there's a comic line called One More Day. <laughs> I'll do it. Not, not everyone likes, but hey, if anyone can make it, make that line, that storyline great, I believe in the MCU. Like, he could make the deal and be like, oh, this was awful. This was a bad choice. <laughs> and, you know, I have to, have to deal with that. And he could make that deal with certain other people, you know, you know, throughout the MCU. And then they might have to deal with it at the at the end with whatever they've unleashed, you know. So with him, I like it to be more like a background, you know, chess match kind of thing. Uh, if it's someone like Kang or like, uh, for example, like Dormammu, um, I'd like it to just be like, bam, I'm here and I'm killing everybody. <laughs> you know, um, you know, like I, I, if it was Kang, it'd be great if it's just like a peaceful day, and then all of a sudden a portal opens up, and then his his dude just come out like, "Hey, we're here. Where's Captain America? We have beef." You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Where are the four that are fantastic? Yeah. <laughs> well, you brought you brought up, you brought up two great choices. You know, Mephisto, uh, who is definitely. You know, I think someone that Justin would love because he's he's kind of the Peter Baelish <laughs> of uh, of the MCU, and and uh, while I I dislike the deal he made with Peter Parker, uh, I I definitely think it's something they could easily accomplish. So, um, you know, I guess we'll we'll start with there. So so AJ, you know, as someone who who said he didn't do a lot of crack detective work, what is your knowledge level of King the Conqueror? Like, how much is this something that? Marvel would need to invest a lot of time to educate you on, or are you, do you have a passing knowledge of King the Conqueror? I have slight knowledge of King, so I would like to believe that Marvel needs to, you know, give that info out to people, especially to newcomers who, some I don't know how they just jumped in now, but if they did, they definitely need that kind of info to help them as well. Uh, maybe like more of like. Obviously, I, I don't expect like immediate all knowledge, like backstory or anything, but small uh, pieces here and there. Like for Thanos, you know, we got little bits and parts. We don't know him entirely, but we know he exists. That got people looking him looking him up. So definitely, that kind of thing gets me going. Yeah, I well, can't I mean, wait for them to reveal his name though. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> his his yeah. actual name. <laughs> I can tell you right now, AJ, that. Um, he is six feet three inches <laughs> tall. He's got brown eyes. He's got hey, brown I'm hair. Than King. <laughs> right. He's got a, what, no, 230. Two. Yeah. Dude, what, 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 what I can't wait for. What I can't wait for is, is, is when they when, when he says his name, Nathaniel Richards. Everyone's gonna look at Reed like Reed. What did you do? <laughs> like what, what? This is your guy. What did you do? <laughs> gonna be like Richards. Richards. I know. Wait a minute. He's like, no, it's a very common last name. Right. <laughs> yeah, I really yeah. like that when they'll do something like they're like, oh, I know exactly where you belong. They're over there. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> right. right. And, I think, uh, I, I, yeah, right. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I just, I, I, I'm interested to see how, how he reacts with Captain America because, you know, some iterations 
Captain America the Man of Time is why uh, Kang's time is gone. So that'll be interesting to see him try and attack an old Captain America. <laughs> right. Can't attack old people. Come on. Right. He can, he from, will. He's from like the 30th century, right? That's his jam. He's a time yeah. traveler. Mm -hmm. And and yeah. he's already been cast. Uh, Jonathan Majors is going to be playing him in Ant-Man 3. And uh, that is called like Quantum Mania. They like the word quantum in those Ant-Man movies. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why the Ant-Man movies are the, are the best in the MCU. Yes. I love the Ant -Man, I love the Ant-Man movies so much. And while well, I know they're not the best in the MCU, I will be there opening day for every single Ant-Man movie. Paul Rudd is just the, the biggest delight. Right. The and, and the recap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I get the recap. Oh, yeah. 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 Michael Pena. Michael Pena. Yeah. Michael Pena. <laughs> yo, 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 check this out. <laughs> He's got to include Endgame's recap, too. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I remember when Endgame, they had all the different posters for Endgame where it was like, uh, you know, whatever it takes. And then a fan had made one for, for Michael Payne's character. And it was like <laughs> recapping everything. <laughs> it, was, it was the best. So whoever did that one on the internet. Uh, yeah, so King the Conqueror, uh, I think he is, I, I think there are a couple of things that, a couple that people really, really think are, are slam dunks. I think Kang is one of them. Uh, I think that Galactus is one of them because of his sheer size and, you know, age and, you know, you know, unmatched power levels. Uh, but Dr. Doom is, I think, one of the cooler MCU characters. And I I think there can be a strong case for him because he was in Fortnite. And Marvel seems to be doing this <laughs> thing where, like, you know what? Let's introduce a character in Fortnite. So, so now my kids know everything there is to know about Dr. Doom because they saw him in Fortnite and he had, like, two lines of dialogue and, like, some cinematic. And so they instantly wanted to know more. So, so they could tell me because they, they have like all the back blings and all the different like accessories you can buy. They could tell me like the name of his powers. They could tell me where he's from. They don't even know where like my parents were born, you know, and they, but they can tell me that Dr. Dune is from Liberia and stuff like that. So uh, do you, Justin, do you think as, as a way to introduce a younger generation, do you think, you know, kind of what Fortnite is doing uh, is could be a precursor to uh, kind of revealing their plans for the MCU of who, who they revealed? Sure, I think that's actually a pretty brilliant idea because, I mean, until, you know, I, I think I was like a teenager when I found out who Dr. Doom was, you know, so, I mean, start them early and kids are only playing Fortnite these days, so that's I think that's a good way to get the, the hooks into them. Makes sense. I mean, we were talking the other day that, like, if, you know, Master Chief shows up in, in Fortnite, he's a Fortnite character. He's no longer a Halo character. He's <laughs> he, started, he started in Fortnite at a certain age right. for people, so that's, that's kind of crazy how that works out. That's wild. So, it is yeah. wild. I love, all, yeah, I love when my kids are like, hey, check out this character. Have you have you ever heard of Wolverine? I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I've taken you to the movies and we've seen a Wolverine movie. Well, totally. I was asleep in that movie. Yeah. There's this girl. She's got like white hair and she controls the weather. I think her name's like Storm or something. Like, oh. <laughs> I know, right? That's that's just it though. Like so, for X Men, I mean, growing up, you know, being an '80s kid and and being a teenager in the '90s, I I got my dose of X Men from the the '90s X Men cartoon, and for me, that was everything. And and Marvel was X Men. I didn't care about any other characters unless they were X Men in the '90s. And I, I think it's that cartoon had a lot to do with it. I mean, I would if I ran out to the playground, I was singing the, the X-Men theme song because that's just how I live my life. <laughs> and so, you know, I'm, I'm all for bring, finally bringing, uh, you know, X-Men into the MCU and, and expanding on something like that. But I know, I know, Dave, you are a big fan of, of Dr. Doom. And I have to believe that if I grew up with my last name being Doom, I feel like I would be destined to be a bad guy. Right. Well, Victor it's not really a bad Doom. guy. Sure. <laughs> Listen to Clark. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's a matter of perspective. Sure, sure. Isn't it? He's just always? doing the best he can <laughs> in Latveria. Yeah. He's a good guy in this small fictional Eastern European country called Latveria. The rest of the world, bad guy. Yeah. I, in MVC, yeah. he's a good guy in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's so crazy yeah i just think from like a design perspective i think just dr doom is so cool again you know he's got capes and regardless of what ed and the incredibles say capes are always going to be cool and especially his capes got a hood and you know he's you know he's got the, got the metal and stuff like that so you know while he kind of got done dirty and fan four stick uh, a couple years ago and <laughs> with that depiction um you know i think he's a super cool he's a compelling character like david said he he does dabble in the gray you know he's not He's not trying to murder half the universe, you know. So right. you know, 
you can almost sympathize with him at a certain level. Um, you know, he's his best frenemy of uh, Reed Richards. You know, they have just this Ruga dynamic. Um, and, you know, I, I think that if they were to cast the right person as Dr. Doom, yeah. I, think, I think he could start out as like a Loki level character. So, you know, when we have Fantastic Four, uh, you know, when they release that movie, Doom should be the bad guy. You know, he's that, you know, he looks just like their villain. And then he grows and grows and grows into where eventually, you know, his intellect and his abilities could make him, you know, the next Thanos in my eyes. Right. That works. It'd be interesting because, you know, like Doom is, you know, often a candidate for Sorcerer Supreme. Um, you know, if he just wasn't, you know, a little bit aggressive, maybe he could be a good Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, and then uh, there's been a few futures. I, th- I think one of the features was foretold by the Panther God that humanity can only survive under Doom. So that might be interesting if, like, they get a chance to glimpse into the future and they have to make a choice. Are we going to try and defy what we've already seen or are we going to live under Doom? And I would, I would, I would love to to see them have to deal with that choice. We're trying to try and defy time, which would tie into Kang too, which would be great. <laughs> Ooh, double go. baddies. Yeah, and it was yeah. at the new Secret Wars. He was, you know, God Doom. You know, oh God King Doom. Yes, <laughs> that would be amazing. There's like a whole Thor core where they like they like, they like do whatever he says. He kills Doctor Strange at a point. It's great. Oh my gosh. He also low key stole. Uh, Mr. Fantastic's family. He did do that. That was a little bit of a dick move. I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I can't really excuse that. But <laughs> like he yeah. dabbles in the gray. So <laughs> no, that that was purely evil. That that was there was nothing gray about that. <laughs> but well, you, what's what's your what's what's your knowledge base on Doctor Doom outside of him just looking really cool? Yeah, like uh, I think. I said earlier, like, you know, MVC, like, I've, you know, he's a character playable on there. He's got some great combo hits, uh, other than the Fantastic Four movies, and then some of the, like, when he shows up, like, on the cartoon. That's pretty much a lot about it. Uh, I will say, uh, I've tried reading a couple times for, like, Fantastic Four, but I guess Fantastic Four is just not my cup of tea. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) You're not not alone there, AJ. You're really not. (laughs) They're the first family of Marvel, but, yeah, I can't can't read Fantastic Four. I like to Wikipedia them because <laughs> when you read like their whole story, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. But like, mm-hmm. I just don't care about the day to day relationship status. Yeah, like I know there's like a couple reasons. times where like the son like interacts with like Spider Man. Like, okay, this I can do, but family all the way through, mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. not really all that. Car boat. together, going on vacation, and they're just yelling. His son is much more interesting. Like, yeah. His son's future is much more interesting. Where he like like Galactus is his herald in the future. So he's he's much more interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's he's he he is it. He is the one. <laughs> yeah, he he's top tier. I'll be good. I mean, shoot, he could be a villain. He's been right. So. <laughs> so so Justin, as someone who has a poster of Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer in your bedroom, <laughs> hallway, and living room, wow. yeah, it so much. And a cardboard cutout of yeah. the whole family. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, and one of those one those giant standees they had in like the movie theaters where it was yep. like eight feet long. Um, yep. I, I know that you love Cloud Galactus. You know, the, I think you said. I think at the time you said that. The only thing better than seeing Galactus is not seeing him, and, <laughs> right. uh, and you were a big fan of it. So, so Galactus, next big baddie. What do you, what, what do you think? Yeah, you know, I'm 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 excited for Galact the idea of Galactus. I, the guy destroys planets. He's what he does. And um, while we didn't really get a real dose of him in that Rise of Silver Surfer, um, which I do want to say that Julian Julian McMahon played um, Doctor Doom, and I. I think he was actually a pretty good choice at the end of the day. I think he was a really solid Dr. Doom, but um, definitely excited for the prospect of Galactus. I mean, how do you defeat uh, a monster like that? It's pretty tough. Ultimate nullifier. Both yeah. Powers. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a cosmic level type of power that you need, right. To defeat these kind of guys. So when you have your, 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 your Hawkeyes, he's like, dude, I got, I got an arrow with your name on it, Galactus. <laughs> it's, it's not going to work out so well. A sea yeah, shoots in his face. You got to yeah. call. You got to call Mr. Fantastic, or you got to call Wanda. Like, hey, Wanda, are you sane yet? Because if you are, I could use some help right, right. about now. Please right. leave a message uh, after this piece. So it's yeah. right about that time where all the little minions show up, so that Hawkeye yeah. has something to do while, right. the, while the while the the superpowers do what they got to do. So. It's interesting. I actually don't see Galactus as a as a overarching villain because he's he's too, 
I don't want to say stupid. I'm going to say simple-minded. Go to planet, eat planet. I see either him or some of the tech on the world chip, like the open nullifier. I see him being a stepping stone for whoever actually is the big bad. Because the open nullifier would be a fantastic weapon against all of existence. But, like, he doesn't have, like, schemes. Right. <laughs> He's like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, boy. I'm hungry, boy. I'm hungry yeah. and then I'm hungry. Yeah, like, he gets <laughs> munchies, eats planets, and then moves on. Yeah. Well, glad yeah. you pay you on a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> for, a planet yeah. today. For, for a planet today. <laughs> totally. Galactus also introduced in Fortnite. He was the he was the big baddie like the last season, and uh, all of Marvel had to come together to defeat him. So I'm just saying. Yeah. I have to play some Fortnite now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Um, I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> I I kind of see what David's saying. I I could see him being like. The threat from the big baddie, like like the big baddie, you know, kind of how the MacGuffin for Thanos was he needed to get the Infinity Stones to where maybe the MacGuffin for this next set of movies is, you know, he has to get something that will help him control Galactus. And, you know, once he controls Galactus, he can, you know, turn him on the Earth and, you know, all of the new Marvel, all, all the new Fantastic Four and the Silver Surfer and all the new people they're going to introduce have to have to stop him. Right. I can see either Kang or Doom being arrogant enough to try and control Galactus. <laughs> right. I think that would be amazing. So well, I always like how Mr. Sinister was always trying to undermine Apocalypse. Like, uh, that's kind of his yeah. jam, right? He's like, oh, dude, I could totally do this shit better than, <laughs> better than Apocalypse. He's like the Starscream of X-Men. It's he so is. Good. Has yeah. it ever worked out for him? <laughs> no, never. So. He's like, I'm going gonna- to... I'm gonna clone Jean Grey and I'm gonna breed Jean Grey and it's like <laughs> Madeline Pryor and stop. It doesn't Lumber. work out. All yeah. he does is make more enemies for himself. <laughs> so David, you had uh, David Edmondson. That is, you had some interesting polls for who you hope to see be a big bad in the MCU. Correct? Yeah, yeah. So I'm a huge X Men fan. You know, when it comes to Marvel, you know, pre MCU, I was I was really really focused on X Men. I, I didn't really care about the Avengers and most of the characters, but you know, the MCU is course since changed that is you know i became more evolved and a natural person uh but uh you know you know like thanos one of my favorite characters in the mcu is apocalypse uh i know he was the victim of a terrible 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 film but you know so so was dr doom and galactus and everyone else on our list except for king because he hasn't been in any movies yet uh i really really like apocalypse um you know he plays really really well into the x-men storyline so i'm assuming they'll probably make him just uh you know, almost like a mini MCU, he could be the overarching villain for the X-Men films. Um, but Apocalypse is definitely someone that I love. You'd mentioned Mr. Sinister. You know, he could be he could be a great Loki level character who's kind of like, you know, comes in advance of Apocalypse to try to set stuff up and he's doing it in service of Apocalypse, but at the same time trying to screw over Apocalypse like he always right. does. Right. Um, so that would be great. And then the other one from from X-Men, um, which kind of went into a broader area was was Onslaught. Um, you know, as, as a 90s X-Men, late 90s, early 2000s X-Men fan, uh, you know, I love the idea of, you know, just, you know, Professor X trying to, you know, stymie um, Magneto's powers and, you know, then it be, creates this like psychic break in him and outforms this like physical manifestation of Onslaught. It would be a great way to introduce Nathaniel Richards. It would be a great way to, you know, uh, bring X-Men and the MCU together in like one big climactic battle. I think that Onslaught is not terribly well received <laughs> in today's eyes, but uh, as, as someone who was reading it when I was younger, I really, really dug it. Uh, I love the design, um, and I love the origin of you know what if what if Professor X and Magneto's brains got mixed together and they went evil. <laughs> there you go. Is that a mouth on his belly that I'm looking at? What? Looks oh. like he has a big circle on his stomach. I see it. Oh, Feed me, uh, Seymour. I Feed can't me. Let's see. Wow, look at his stats. <laughs> look at all those sevens. He's stacked. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 900 pounds. Yeah. Those are some good choices, though. Like I would like I would like to see Apocalypse, because Apocalypse made Hulk uh, one of his horsemen. Uh, he made him war. And then that can help us get back to, to Hulk with some anger issues, rather than Hulk who likes tacos. So right. I, I would I like that. <laughs> Yes, but I but he got punked by Thanos <laughs> and he just he just let it stand. Like he and I I can't let that go. So we need Angry Hulk back. <laughs> Fair enough. He's so angry he's gonna eat Wolverine. There you go. I mean, hey, it happens. It is what it is. 
<laughs> so sometimes you sometimes you get hungry. Uh, we kind of, we kind of skipped over we kind of skipped over Magneto. I think Magneto uh, is is a great you know we keep using the word Loki just because you know Loki was such an amazing character in the MCU still is an amazing character. He has a show coming up, uh, but you know it was that I'm a bad guy. I'm I'm a good guy. Yeah, I'm just a little mischievous type thing. Well, where I I love that they that you know him and Professor X are friends at certain points. Okay, again, Wol Magneto. Not a bad guy, okay. He's reacting. <laughs> yeah. He's reacting to he's, he's, the uh, to the community. overt evilness of humanity. Because let's be honest, like, look, he he would have been cool being friends, but he saw the worst of humanity. He saw what they're capable of, and he knows that they will never stop. And also, right. they are mutants are literally better than humans, though. Like, if you have a <laughs> guy realistic. who's just a dude, superior, and then you have right. the same dude who can control all of uh, the electric, uh, electromagnetic spectrum, like, that guy is better than the other guy. Like, sure. I, it just, it is what it is. Can he <laughs> make a good taco, wrong. though? Right, yeah. right. You can, you, can, you can learn to make a good taco <laughs> using your powers that you have because you're better. <laughs> right, well, I think the cool thing about X-Men is is it's it speaks volumes even in like today's climate with just people that are that are different and the hatred that that exists and how i mean even in like in x2 one of my favorite lines in that whole movie is when bobby drake's mom is like well have you ever tried not being a mutant and it's like <laughs> dude I just don't get it. You you represent so yeah. many people in this country right now. It's I mean, so truth crazy. be told, it's like if I was Bobby, I'd be like, well, actually, mom and dad, it's kind of your fault I turned out this way. So have you tried not making me a mutant? <laughs> yeah, have you tried fucking less? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You need some you need some uh some some, some anti-mutant therapy. Yeah. <laughs> also, like he's Iceman. How is that not cool to you? Like, yo, my son can make you go absolute zero and can and kill you. That's yeah. amazing. I'm always yeah. cold. I would need to be pyro. I, I'm freezing <laughs> all day, every day. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean really, cold, so I'd be cool with Iceman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really outside of like Rogue and like a handful of other characters, like like you know, Mutant looks looks pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Rogue's better. Rough, right? Yeah. Totally. And like like the '90s car back to the '90s cartoon Rogue. She's literally my favorite comic book character ever. I, I just love how strong she is. She flies. She can beat the hell out of anybody. Yeah. Uh, she's got that sass. Uh, I just love everything about her. So, and and she just, it sucks that she can't have contact with another human being. It's so terrible. So tragic. Yeah, yeah. I think they'll probably bring her in to bring uh, Captain Marvel down to, to regular people level so that it can kind of build back up to a big bet. Because right now, like, her and Scarlet Witch can kind of just come in and just, like, just Queen side the fight is over now. So they're going to need to bring people's power level down to build it back up, you know. Uh, but also, speaking of Magneto, I believe there's a storyline where Magneto and Rogue get together because yep. Magneto's able to he's able to manipulate the uh, the field around himself so that she can touch him. So yeah. sucks for sucks for uh, for Gambit. I I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. Well, he does it for Gambit too at one point. But my my favorite my favorite Magneto is Age of Apocalypse Magneto. I think that's the one where I had the picture there where he's got the long hair and mm -hmm. you know he saw you know his best friend charles xavier murdered so he takes up the mantle of leading the x-men and he's married to rogue and uh you know he's the one who finally has the climactic battle with apocalypse at the end and stuff like that and uh yeah i, I love magneto i have a yeah. i have a bobblehead of magneto an action figure of magneto i i got i got as far as the mcu goes i have or marvel i have more magneto stuff than probably anybody else, any other figure i have yeah my goodness uh, I would like Michael Fassbender to keep going. I actually do like him. I think he's a good actor. I think it would be cool to see him. Uh, I, think, I think it's somehow bringing Ian McKellen. I don't care about the rules. Just make it happen. Bring both of them <laughs> at the same time. Doesn't matter. Same thing with both Charles Xavier. I like, I like both Xavier's. I don't, I don't care about the rules. You don't have to even explain it, Marvel. Just pay, sure. and now we're here. <laughs> I, I think in, in first class, when, when Magneto stabs the guy, then throws his knife, then pulls it back, and then stabs him again, I thought that was pretty cool. That was, that was very yeah. Magneto-y. <laughs> Vendetta 64 was is saying, Magneto's ultimate plot from the Ultimate Universe would make for a crazy film. I don't know that Ultimate uh, storyline, but you know, shout out to Blue Vendetta uh, for giving us uh, an idea for Magneto. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Like you said, Justin, it, just the creative way he uses his powers, and it and it kind of goes. I mean, he's he's murdering, you know, Nazis. He's, so he's he's murdering bad people, but he's he's doing See? bad things. So it's just he's, like, not a, he's not a bad guy. 
Right. Right. A god amongst insects, right? That's what hey, look, look, he he may be a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> he's not a bad guy. <laughs> yeah. He's not a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> Love that line. But I mean, look, it just man, he, he was right. done dirty. So I mean, I, I get it. He's an angry man. Right. And he's better than humanity. Most sure. mutants are. Sure. Except for maybe Leech. Leech, Leech is all, he's good in only like specific circumstances. But other than that, most mutants are. So when the future mutant overlords come and take us over, remember that Clark was always on your side. Right. You're right. you're assuming I'm not a mutant. Like I, I could be my neutral. <laughs> what right would now. be you your know. power? <laughs> mutant and proud. Not building gunplay with those boxes back then. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> In the new, in the mutant regime, you're going first, Dave. <laughs> you're going first. <laughs> and you can strangle me with your with, with, with your like, gumbo. Oh man, but yeah, they, they're well, better. They're what about you, Justin? Did you, did you have any uh, any other suggestions, or do we have any uh, any any fun alterations in the chat? Um, yeah, good. Have I had some on my screen, but they went away, so I apologize. Huh. Uh, I've got one. Who you got, Maestro? Here? Maestro yeah. would be good because uh, we, 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 we didn't get War Hulk Hulk because rights issues and stuff, but I think Maestro would be a good chance for us to see a smart Hulk that also likes to kill people. So I think that would be great because I like, I like Hulk. So just hit, hit more of him smashing and not <laughs> and not having a tacos would be great. Hulk oh, smash. Yeah. But you never get tacos. They're deli- can he smash because... and have tacos? They're delicious. Bro, he, like, he, he gets arm charred by the gauntlet. It didn't heal back, which it should have. And then he just kind of... He just didn't hit Thanos back. Everyone else got a chance to do he something. Was, he was he like, was busy. I'm just going to run here. I'm just going to run yeah. here. I, I, have, I have one working arm. It was just bad. It was bad. The love of his life died. You know, we got he threw he, he he threw his favorite bench into the water. Oh and then God. he didn't we we didn't get a Hulk as the strongest one there is. We didn't get a Hulk smash. We didn't get, you know, like look, that that three piece combo he got in, in, in Infinity War, <laughs> like that he needed to get some re- revenge and he just he just let it go, man. Maybe he's he like that. That. he's better than no. that. Remember, mutants no, Hulk, are better than humans. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk is not above <laughs> anything. Sure. Hulk will destroy anything. He is. Sure. He, should, he should be purely reactionary and full of rage. I don't so, like that he can think. Uh, <laughs> flip, he got things that shine a different way. Flipping the nerd says, "I really hope it's both Galactus and Doctor Doom. So help me God if it's another Cloud and Teen Hacker." And then Galact Cloud. Cloud. Yeah. Oh. I was then, so mad when I saw that. We need more hackers. <laughs> right. See, the CW was proving to us that that a good hacker is better than any superpower. I know. My goodness. <laughs> like. uh What's the girl in Arrow? Well, What's her oh, name? Felicity. Felicity. Yeah, she just hacks into everything all day long. It all started with Smallville. It was all. It was all about uh, Chloe. Chloe. She's like using the barnyard internet at the Kent farm, and she's like, "Yeah, let me just hack into my computer really fast." And we got Wi-Fi. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, dude, give me a break. It's like okay. DOD encryption. No, I got no problem. No problem. Yeah, oh, I yeah. got. I got this. Yeah, the mighty jerk says going to be Kang. Uh, everyone's into the Kang. So, yeah, like yeah. everyone in chat has said everything uh, we've brought up. So, well, there is one other option I don't think anyone said yet. It would be cool to see Dormammu because so far we've only seen like go, other go. world version of him, and he's like he like you know Doctor Strange was about him trying to trying to cross over. I think it'd be cool if one day he just hey crossed over. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. I'm gonna kill everybody now. You know, Doctor sure. Strange, no more bargaining. You know, <laughs> like the bargain <laughs> is over because uh, he he he's also pretty. He's pretty terrifying as well. <laughs> it would be cool to see, like maybe during Multiverse of Madness, like maybe he breaks out. Maybe they break something that you know he doesn't have to buy by that uh, that deal anymore. He could just come out and uh, murder people indiscriminately. You know, there you go. Because Doctor Strange in theory doesn't have the 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 time stone anymore, right? He does not. No, he is a he is a dude. <laughs> just a dude <laughs> waving his hands. I got a deaf posse. You got a bunch of dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, a, with a sick cape. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Vader's so, fist is saying Modok. So, I think oh, yeah. we'll see. Like Modok's getting the cartoon show. I think he's. I think he's going to be more of a uh, comedic relief. Yeah, <laughs> but he is uh, funny though. 
They're like yeah. Clayton Bishop, like, you know, welcome back, always on our live stream. Uh, he says, scroll invasion. I do like that. I do like the idea of that scroll invasion, but, you know, didn't really also, get I think it. That, like, super I, scroll. Think they're doing, yeah. I think they're doing secret invasion. I, I don't know how, I mean, I guess they have to make it like an evil faction of scrolls since they've kind of established mm -hmm. scrolls as good guys. Um, yeah. But yeah, I do want to see a super scroll. Uh, but, but we need the FF firmly in the universe first for us to get that proper super scroll. Yeah, I think the Secret Invasion Disney Plus series is twenty twenty two, so it's 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 probably eighteen to twenty months away. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so far. Agent Inferno <laughs> says if it's not Modok, I riot. So, oh no, uh, <laughs> so stay away from the yeah. Seattle area. If yeah. It's not yeah. Modok. <laughs> not good. I just I, I just love to see him. He's got a t shirt. It's like. Uh, 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 no hope for Modoc or something like that. He's got like a moth tail cocktail, a moth tail cocktail. He throws at a building or something. Like that. Oh my yeah. god! Do it, Felix. Yeah, I do. I do. I do like Modoc. I think. I think. What is his name? Like, was he uh, uh, mechanism or no? Was it made on something only designed for killing or something? Like, like what, what his name stands for? Hold on. Let's see, real quick. <laughs> Let's see what is. It? Oh, it's a. Uh, um, mechanized organism designed only for killing, yeah. <laughs> Modoc. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Star Wars is now in the uh, is in the same family with Marvel. They're releasing Star Wars comics. Maybe maybe we get Darth Vader coming over. Look, oh, wow. here's my pitch, okay? <laughs> Star Wars always says, a galaxy far, far away a long, long time ago, right? What if it was, like, here and now? And oh then you have some modern-day Force users who come to Earth and like, yo, Earth is crazy. <laughs> like, we, we, thought, we, thought the, we thought the dark side was nuts. Y'all got just, everybody's got powers down here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are those talking? And... <laughs> uh, chat is throwing out, uh, let's see. Is it uh, Jonathan Pattinson? He says, Beta Ray Bill. As a villain? Isn't, I he mean, a guy? Isn't he a champion? Yeah, like he's like the homie. Like he's yeah. like him and Thor are like best friends. Maybe it'll be a misunderstanding. Maybe he'll start off as a bad guy. If he just wants to see him. Oh, there you go. I mean, I mean that's fine. I mean, we, we <laughs> saw we saw his head in in uh in the in the right, Ragnarok. Right. Yeah, we yeah. saw his head on the on the building, so we, we know he's there. Right. So I'm sure they'll run into him during like Guardians of the Galaxy three or something. That'd be cool. Which would be cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. I'm like, what are you? <laughs> 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 yeah that was the coolest thing about guardians was that it really expanded on this whole you know cosmic level of of powers and things like when they're just hanging out in in the head <laughs> when they go to the see like the collector and everything that's pretty cool right yeah uh, and we can't just count red skull he's still he's still around you know, he's oh, saying, yeah he's Man, he won't even come back <laughs> he, 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 he won. he's busy he's been, he, he don't want to come back man He's he's watching the car over on that that planet. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, now that uh, you know, now that he, you know, he was pregnant with Soul Stone, doesn't have to do that anymore. Now maybe he has kind of a transformation, so he can get away from the likeness of Hugo Weaving, since he doesn't want to come back and uh, get someone else. He's a he's a bad that dude. True. Anything can right. happen. Anything can happen now. But what, wasn't the stone returned though? So I mean, doesn't he have to watch it again? Uh, but I mean, they were tech they get destroyed at a certain point. Like like Thanos destroys them, so there's no right. uh, there's no more stones. And also, oh. Justin, you're, you're forgetting comic books, right? As soon as time travel gets thrown into the mix, if it's not if it's not Doc Brown's time travel, then I don't get it. Yeah. I think Back to the Future did such a great job of explaining how time travel works, and then anytime they deviate from that, then it just gets lost. Yeah. I, I sometimes I, I just learn how to just ignore some logic. Sometimes, like I remember in a in in, the, in comics, a uh, uh, fear itself when the whole thing was about Thor dying. Then Thor died. And then, like, the next week, he was just back, like, in comics. Right. Like, no explanation. <laughs> I was like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we talked about when they killed Barry Allen. He was gone for, like, 30 years. That's one of the few times that right, you know, right. comic book characters stayed dead. I remember they, there was a big thing where they killed uh, Johnny Storm, and it was, like, this big event, like, leading up to it. Everyone was buying the comics, and then I think he was dead for, like, six months. Right. Or, like, Jason Todd, right? People yeah, called yeah. So this they people want called the hotline <laughs> saying, "Kill that kid! I don't want him on my comics anymore." <laughs> and then he blows up, and uh, then he comes back later. We got Red Hood though, so yeah. I mean, it's a good trade off. Sure. Yeah, you had to pay. It was like a nine hundred number. You had to pay ninety nine cents to let them know you wanted him. <laughs> yeah. like, We're gonna make money off of this 
this kid. <laughs> it wasn't even like a free. It wasn't even a free internet poll. It was like you need to pay me a dollar if you want this kid dead or alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's too bad. That's a shame. That's sad. And then he got a crowbar to the face like 18 times and then he exploded. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, what about the Scarlet Witch? Do we think the Scarlet Witch could be a big baddie? You know, she's she's kind of a tweener right now. You know, I definitely right. wouldn't consider her a full fledged here with what she did to those poor people. Um, could you, David, could you see her being a, a big baddie for a couple of movies or do you think she right. uh, flip flop back and forth? So, first thing. Those people in WandaVision, they should be happy that they got to be a part of the Avengers story at all in any small capacity, all right? She helped save reality, so they should just be like, hey, you know what? We're going to give you a pass on this. Uh, but uh, I think Wanda, it's really going to depend on how Multiverse of Madness goes. Because if she keeps getting manipulated by other people, like, say, like a Mephisto or, you know, whatever other dark entity is out there, if she ends up falling to them, then I don't think she'll be the big baddie, but I, th I do think she'll be an instrument. But if she can, like, if her and Dr. Strange can, like, be friends and can, like, kind of lead her down, like, the right path, I think she'll just still be, like, a troubled hero, but she won't be a big baddie, though. So. she She's never intentionally, like, I'm going to kill everybody because I'm bad. It's always, like, I'm really depressed. Like, my family keeps dying. Right. Do stuff. Yeah, so right. I don't see, she, she she's not like Thanos who's like, yeah, I'm just gonna murder. She's like she's different, you know. So she's the kind of dismentally enslaved people for months on end against their will when we can tell that they're in agonizing pain the entire time. But but <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm waiting they, for the butt here. <laughs> they got to be important for a little bit. They were they were somebody. <laughs> Right? Hey you, you're you're, you're somebody. You you're you know, don't let anyone you tell you, you, you your mama was right you know, about you. You're special. Wait, did anybody care about Westview before before right. Wanda was there? Exactly. See now you're somebody and you may get powers later. Who knows? Maybe you guys mutated. Oh, Clark right. would be the best like hostage negotiator. No, no, keep them in there a while. This is the most important thing that's gonna happen to them. We'll get right. you guys later. It, but it's true, you know. Sure. If you're a hostage, you're on TV. We don't meet right. your demands. You guys are on TV already. If you're I will if you're never smart, make you can... with David ever. <laughs> I just say, look, think about it. You can sell your life story as like a lifetime movie, make a little money. You know, it's oh a whole thing. My goodness. Big big brain play. I'm traveling with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to play with you anymore. We get, a, we get kidnapped and you're going to tell me it's all right because we're going to get our 15 minutes of fame? Well, no, I don't want that. We're all tied yeah. up. He's like, isn't this great? We're going to be on the news. <laughs> ha hashtag rescue David. Then you can get that trending and then make a movie. Sure. Y'all got to think, think for the long term. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> In the current moment, I am tied up and very upset. <laughs> thank you, Austin. Just thank, 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 you people take thank you so much for doing this for me. This is a great opportunity. Yeah, it is. Like, let me live stream it real quick. You know, just... yeah, follow uh, at offshoot <laughs> 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 uh, Hashtag kidnapped. You know. Yeah. All right, uh, let this one go. We we don't want him. <laughs> yeah. <there you go. laughs> one. Well, is there is there anybody we haven't mentioned? Any anyone you guys think would make a good either overarching big boss or you know maybe it's a sub boss? Maybe it's you know like we talked about the bulky level. There is one more that could also help us get Venom. We could bring in the Beyonder and do Secret Wars. I think that could be cool. And then they and then they could just like and like end now Venom's here. Because I know they're gonna try and bring him in. <laughs> and he, he came from Secret Wars, so maybe we could bring in the Beyonder. That could be cool too. Don't even made out of beef. Do we want huh? <laughs> I mean, Beyonder. I don't even know who that is. I mean, uh, do uh, 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 Doom once took his powers, so that was kind of cool. So you know, get to see Doom be cool. <laughs> Plus, I, I want to see everybody fight everybody for no apparent reason. So he's like, you know, uh, the guy cool. for like all those uh, Beyond meats they got. So right, the Beyond. Yeah. That's that's yes. what I'm gonna root for. <laughs> It's him versus the impossible impossible burger. Sure, AJ, they team up. AJ, they team up. In, in, in the new mutant regime, you're you're second to go. I've That's tried. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I've accepted this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll just tell him oh, Clark was with me the whole time. I'm leading saying? the, the mutant rebellion. <laughs> I'm, I'm, He's I, planning I, something. <laughs> whether it's mutants, aliens, robots, there's two the one thing you can know for sure, Clark is gonna sell out the human race hard. <laughs> You're yeah. assuming that I'm not already a part of whatever that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> he, part of he, put it, he put it on Twitter. 
<laughs> yeah. Hashtag, my last hashtag, words. Humanity, you know. <laughs> uh, evil. <laughs> evil was his name. Yeah, oh, I, I, I got no problem with evil. Like whenever they ask you know, what, what superpower would you like to have, my first choice is always mind control. And there's not a hero alive that mind control is their power. <laughs> see, see, see that they, you gotta think bigger. The power that I want is the power to control reality, and then I have all the powers. Oh my gosh, oh. I don't like well, that responsibility. I think small. I'm like, yeah, let me just fly over here, fly over there, avoid traffic. <laughs> David yeah. wants mind control. You want reality control. What about you, AJ? What do you want? Well, just want something humble. <laughs> yeah, if I can have all the ingredients to make any taco out of anywhere, and be like, God, you guys want like a taco? And like a fridge pops out, like boop. <laughs> and like, you know, like a grill, boop. <laughs> like, that's it. Whatever a simple life I need. There you go. You would be, be the single most popular human being on this planet. Yeah, we could I, be just lost the <laughs> I, I, I just want to enslave all existence. I don't see what the <laughs> problem you? is, guys. But you I might want, get hungry. I want, I want so little. So little. <laughs> but you might get hungry, though, so you might want a taco along the way, and I could do that. But I, I control reality. I could just make a taco. I could make like, not I the real thing. the best yeah, taco. It's not going to be the same. Yeah, you, you're going okay, well, to yearn would for that AJ. I will enslave AJ to have him come make talk. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Got King David. I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Uh, real quick, Alonzo Camacho. Hey, what's up? And I just want to say what's up to you because Camacho is like one of my favorite names ever, like Hector Macho Camacho. So, President of the United States. He's <laughs> <laughs> got the flash, man. That's right. <laughs> Reparations. <laughs> Blue Vendetta says, I work at the cafeteria at the Xavier Institute. You know, I'm at that institute? Sure. <laughs> I'll take so, it. Yeah, that's your job. You'd be the most popular person at the Xavier Institute. For us. There we go. For mutants who can't read good and want to do other stuff good, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, I, nice. I, still don't, I, I still don't get why I can't just have everything. I don't, I don't. You, you can have whatever you want. Yeah, yeah you have perfect. it all behind you, but you're not doing anything with the right. kids. <laughs> you right, I'll all. get to it. I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> After I collect all of existence, I'll get to it eventually. The reality is made. Yeah. It's like build the kids. <laughs> right. Maybe right. the Twilight right. Zone episode where the guy gets all the books and then breaks his glasses. You'll get all the kids and then all of a sudden like your hands will you like you'll lose control of your hands or something. Oh can you imagine? Uh, no. Sounds like a Metallica that would, song. That would that would that'd be awful. But then I, actually, after I, after I conquer this reality, then I have to go to the multiverse. It's a whole thing. So oh, sounds exhausting. Well, it's too hard Davids? to be you, yeah. Clark. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to exercise, much less go to multiple realities to enslave them all. Yeah. But think think of the power. But what do you need with multiple you know realities? <laughs> Well, cause like what happens if like you know one of them doesn't work you know work out you know like they get they explode or like in with the incursions of Marvel they just like run into each other and die you know stuff happens nice. you need backups sure. it's like you buy multiple of the same model kit have multiple <laughs> of the same universe so I, I do think the most popular pick was going to be King uh, yeah. of course we all know that he was already casted for Ant Man three and that is uh, Jonathan Majors from yeah uh, what do you call it Lovecraft Country. And um, yeah, excited about that. So we'll see how that goes. Right. What was it called again? Quantum Mania, Ant Man Three. Yes. Yeah. Quantum Mania, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The WWE Network, Quantum Mania. <laughs> so like Quantum Mania has begun. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if it. I wonder if instead of being angry at Captain America for being the man of time, if he's going to be angry at, at Ant Man for basically giving the keys to the King of Time Travel to the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. Oh, yeah. poor Ant Man. Well, <laughs> one day we'll show the other side of this studio so you can see it's literally only glass windows. And the new fun thing to run the office is to know when we're live streaming and to come up and dance in front of the glass. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's happening? Oh, no. It's like, oh, no. Oh, I'm going to miss up your live stream. No, you can't miss me. Up. <laughs> now, uh, uh, for you know people who stuck around, uh, do we have something to, uh, to show them, Mr. Cog? Yeah, I have some cool stuff from, from Flame and Sentinel. Uh, I'll start with the Marvel stuff since, you know, that's what we're doing today. Uh, let me see. Share a screen. Let me go ahead and uh, share this. Yeah, a lot of clicking. 
It's uh, it's, right, see, this is why I need reality warping. So <laughs> this is the Sentinel Fighting Armor Deadpool. Uh, this is my first reveal of it, colored and, and finished. They hit the pose perfect. This is this is his R and B cover. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I really, I really like this one. This one is going to be really cool. Uh, we'll we'll be announcing more uh, info on, on where you can get it uh, very very shortly. But uh, I think they really hit it out of the park with this one, and uh, I will probably have them do that exact same pose. That's that's probably going to be it. <laughs> like right like right out of the box, just pose it and then done. Perfect. Um, and he will go really good with Wolverine too. I can I can imagine the um, the, the, the meme shots with this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, looks great. And then yeah, we have yeah. uh, uh, from Into the Spider Verse. Uh, this is it's still it's still in progress, but this is like the the grayscale of the uh, you know basically the, the body of Peter Parker. Um, and then uh, the the it, it comes with that, that little tiger head mount thing. It's it's one of the things he was sitting on in the movie, like on on, on the side of one of the buildings. So like, I had to actually go back and rewatch it. I was like, wait a minute, that's familiar. But yeah, that's going to help with it, which will be great. So that's coming out soon. All and right. then we have some we have some other non-Marvel stuff for our non-Marvel fans out there. Uh, for the Snake Eyes and uh, uh, Storm Shadow that we really we showed off earlier this year, they're, they're getting bikes. So nice. yeah, so this this is a uh, this is Storm Shadow's bike. This is Snake Eyes' bike, which I mean, it's red and black, so. <laughs> and these are, and these are model kits. That. They have to build these. These bikes? are model kits. These are model kit bikes. Wow. Uh, wow. I can't say that they would go well with other figures that are around five to six inches tall, but you know, they would. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just saying that that that's out there. Uh, Do the wheels turn? The, uh, I believe so. Yes. Uh, but we'll f we'll find out when when the the final version is done and in my hand, I'll be able to see if it spins or not. But if it doesn't spin, I'm pretty sure there's a way to modify it. Sure. I can't wait to have nubs on my wheels and then they don't. Oh, they don't God, spin. please don't. Like, please, like please, 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 I knew that was coming up. Please, I knew that please, was sand. please, sand. sand. I could pop the tire. Okay, I'm going to bring it to your house and sand your stuff down. Just wake up all of a sudden. Final version of Windblade. Uh, nice. Pre-order for her starts within the next five days, guys. Like This is, this is, nice. this is happening very soon. Uh, I first thing I'm gonna do with her is try to put her on the bike because she's also red and black. So I just gotta see how it works out. Uh, and then let's see this next one. So oh, you know we man. announced the diecast Kurakara Korean Megazord earlier this year. We're also gonna be doing a model kit Megazord for those who like to to, to build so stuff like this. This one's gonna be about the size of a Master Grade, uh, and it's also gonna have it's gonna be able to transform and combine. Uh, and it, 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 it looks more like the uh, uh, you know the, the traditional Megazord, uh, but as you see, it's got a lot of details on it. And so this one is still uh, to be announced on when it's actually like like the like the release date, but it, mm -hmm. it should be relatively ish soon. But I'm very excited for this because it's, it's going to be going to be very awesome. Would and you be mad to, uh, that the horns of the Triceratops and the mouth of the saber tooth have nubs on it? But I'll call it like extra horns. There you I, go. AJ, okay. I, remember, when I told you I would I would kill you second in the mute regime. <laughs> nice. I lied. I lied. First, I yeah. lied. You're going first. Number two. Number, <laughs> <laughs> Number one, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, the, 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 these are our, our, our newest announcements. He's a world first. So, nice. uh, you know, very very excited to see these come out. And uh, yeah, you know, as you can see, we're doing more GI Joe. We're doing more Power Rangers, and there's a. Uh, there's so much more that that's on the way that I can't wait to show you guys. So now I'm sure it'll be asked a million times in the comments, but you know that's not a symmetrical model. Are you are you gonna have a problem with that, David? Are you gonna put two and? Oh have, no! See, I mean, I think the yeah. internet would murder you if you had a symmetrical <laughs> Devastator and a and a and a Zord. <laughs> no, the 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 the, the Mega Zord is, is is sacred. I will keep it the same way. I I became a fan of Power Rangers when I was three years old. I couldn't. I couldn't do that. It'd be weird. Oh man, you just yeah, dude. Hey, which me. would you pick? <laughs> two triceratops <laughs> or two saber tooth? I don't know, but ah. I'm doing it now. I'm doing it and now. I get my revenge on Mr. Polar. <laughs> oh, no. Two of these kids. Oh no! I'm making symmetrical zords. <laughs> and it's gonna, it, I'm gonna have one sit right here. I'm gonna have the other sit right here. <laughs> But it wouldn't work. <laughs> no, it does work. work. You've it shown does. that it works. You you no, destroyed I the mean, universe. Theoretically, theoretically, <laughs> there could be other transformers who could oh. also look like parts of the Devastator. They can make their own their own new thing. But nope, you can't. This is happening. 
You I'm can't gonna do make, it, though. I'm going to make them like those statues the never-ending story that, like, shoot lasers out of their eyes. They want you to point like that and like that. And if you're not worthy to pass, they're just going to pew, pew, pew. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, set what, a twin what have I done? And a twin right. sailor tooth. Mm. AJ, AJ, you're back number two now. There's, new, there's, oh, there's a new number one. <laughs> what a fun little battle you guys are having. <laughs> Yeah, you know. And there's Justin just being like, excellent. I like <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> He's got the popcorn oh, yeah. ready and everything. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, I'm the Michael yeah. Jackson thriller meme right now. Yeah. I'm having a blast. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those, those, those are all you, awesome. I can't, I can't you leave the Megazord alone. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, it's yeah. done. It's done. Wait, wait. So uh, uh, go back to the bikes really quick because it looks like there's a Cobra logo on what you said to be. Are they? But it looks like they both have Cobra logos. That's a definitely a cobra logo. What? Okay, can I go to the white one? It's the snakes. <laughs> yeah, the white one had had one in the very front. It looked like yeah, like, uh, the wheel on the on the wheel. Yeah. Yes, it does. Maybe he stole a cobra. And ah. that's, that's, that that's all I can say about that. Wow. I didn't know there's a snake. Eye, I didn't know there's a snake eyes movie coming out this year though. Whoa. Totally unrelated. My totally unrelated. blown. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Um, but yeah, no, that was the first thing I I I I I noticed when like uh, I saw this, I was like, wait a minute, that's a that's a Cobra logo. <laughs> yeah. What is going on? Cobra! Did he, Did he join? Was he part of Cobra? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he just likes to steal bikes in Cobra parking lots. They're at the, the, the bar, the biker bar, and he's like, I'm they taking go, that bike. Jones! I need this. <laughs> yeah. Or he finally realizes the Cobra logo is like the coolest logo in the world. He's like, I want right. something. If I got a bad, bad A bike, I want the Cobra logo on it. Right. That'd be hilarious if like all the Joes like each pick up a vehicle and they steal it and they go, Go Joe! And they like drive out of the Cobra parking lot, you know? <laughs> Because it's uh, against I swear I left my uh, bike here. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zartan just out of the bar. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, yeah. Left. That's Dreadnoughts. They wrote bikes. You didn't lock your vehicle, and locking your vehicle is half the battle. I already okay. get nervous because <laughs> I don't know where I parked at a place. <laughs> yeah. oh, my car's somewhere oh, here. Man. But yeah, no, they, they look awesome. And and Deadpool, his pre order starts in a couple weeks, so. Oh. Keep keep your eyes off of that. We uh, go public with that, but uh, yeah, I'm really hyped for him. And like, yeah. I already like the fact that I can see on on his back where where, where, where the swords are going to go. Oh, nice! That was actually so, a question I was going to just have. <laughs> yeah, so that's good that I, I can already see where, where those are going to go. He looks so different from the other ones, which is great because he's Deadpool. He's, he 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 follows his own rules. Right. So. Also, I like how that belt is done. Like it's it oh, yeah. really well good. Oh, you see his little face? Huh. Yeah. Little, little, little Deadpool face. <laughs> yeah. He looks so happy. Yeah, the details on these are, are just incredible. Yeah, the fighting armor line is, is, is pretty rad. Yeah. yeah. I got my Iron Man in a landing pose, and I haven't moved him since. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> trying to recover from that land. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, oh, I just looks too cool like this. I got to leave it. Right. <laughs> like my plan... My plan is to have the Iron Man in the middle, and then have all the other guys like you know, like, in a, like a semicircle behind him. Except for Deadpool. Deadpool's gonna lie in the front on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Album cover uh, right there. I'm exactly. gonna have mine riding on the back of one of David's symmetrical Megazords, and it's gonna. Be oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I cannot well, wait. I'm terrible. Uh, I, We're gonna live stream have... the whole thing. <laughs> I have, I have to. I have to uh, move up the mutant invasion now, guys. Uh, it's gonna be. So I magical. was going to give you a few more years, but it's over it'll now. have nubs. Oh, <laughs> these, are, these are the worst dreams for Clark <laughs> whatsoever. Are, are you even gonna? Are you gonna sand it, David? Are you gonna sand it? I can't believe you even asked oh, me that. No, the, oh, the nubs Lord. make for Cracker Jack Reigns. That's why he's going to be able to put his hands oh, and wrap around. Runners will nubs. still be stuck yeah. on it, Clark. <laughs> I'm, not even I'm just going to yank it out with my teeth. Perfect. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get a giant glass. We'll call it a case because it sounds nicer than prison. We'll put it in the back <laughs> and we'll put Clark in there. Oh, no! I do it. No! I, I might just like disappear from reality. I might, I might, I might, I might just pass away because uh, I'm done. Oh man! Oh, Dave, out. Out. oh man! The comment says David needs to be sacrificed to the nerd gods to placate their rage for his heresy. Oh my god! <laughs> Which David though? Probably Edmondson. I Probably Bandai Dave. I've only talked about heresy. Clark is committed. 
<laughs> that's true. That's true. That is it's, true. It's, it's, it's a different headcanon. Where there's different other Transformers that's made. <laughs> There you go. Uh, so he of the know? void. He of the void that was that made the comment. So if <laughs> if you want to clarify if it's if it's Bandai Dave or Offshoot Comics, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, 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 please don't don't do that. Bandai do Dave. Oh, please, man. Please don't. <laughs> uh, you're gonna do it, aren't you? You're gonna do it, aren't you? Oh, I kind of want to do it too. I'm not gonna too. lie. <laughs> Well, it's perfect. AJ and I will both buy a kit, and if you, he can have either well, part, he, he can yeah. have the tiger or he can have the yeah. triceratops. I'm happy with either one, and and then we'll have like little like like those keychains that like say best friends and they connect. Our mega, our I will mega sand will mine down that. though. Like I, I will feel below, I will, you know, take away the nubs. But I'm also curious if oh. I want to leave the runner on a couple parts. <laughs> 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 like, see if I can just keep them on the feet. <laughs> You yeah. know what I'm going to do for you, for you, Clark? I'm going to sand and paint. I'm going to do such a good job. You'll be so impressed with how well I built this model from where I stood from. You can't even be mad that it's a symmetrical Megazord. I will find a way to be mad. I'll paint it all black <laughs> and red. Oh. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> someone, you know, I, I, I don't want to age myself since Clark said he was three when Power Rangers came out. I remember watching it at work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at, a, at a job that I had uh, when I worked at Blockbuster, but uh, you know, I have a feeling I, I'll do this as a goof and I'll show it once and I'll look at it and I'll be like, this must be destroyed. <laughs> yes. and throw it it's too fire. dangerous to exist. Uh, yeah. now, oh man, I, I hope we don't try and like get it by by like painting it all this like the regular Megazord colors, but like painting the like the, the Triceratops like blue or something or, or like a, or yellow or something. You know, just like ah, look, the same color scheme, so it, it tricks you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That works. Well, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna this it's gonna be primer. It's all gonna be primer gray. That's fine. I accept that. Good. Good huh. job. My the, the primer look can look can look pretty cool if you, if you do it well. Oh, well I won't do it well though. I'll try to oh. I'll try to do it well and then I'll be like, oh man, I'm terrible. Just don't <laughs> just don't be so close to it when you spray, please. Like one inch, you're supposed to be away from, right? And you're supposed oh. to, and you're supposed to just hold it there, right? You don't, you don't go back and forth and like you. Just, Dave, you, 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 get, you get tongs and just put it into a, a paint bucket. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that, how you do it. That would save I, some time. I do yeah. want to try that thing that people do, you know, where like they put like the camo part and like the on the water and paint, like with the spray paint. I've seen people do that. I'm like, that seems kind of cool. I've decided wow. now in the mutant regime, all three of you, same time. <laughs> no way, dude. The <laughs> key of the void has put incoherent screeching. So <laughs> <laughs> incoherent. <laughs> I could hear it. Oh, <laughs> Anyone. Well, join me in my my symmetrical Megazord crusade. You know, we'll, uh, we'll have a group build. I will buy for everyone in my group build <laughs> up to a certain amount of people. I don't want to spend thousands of dollars here, but uh, yeah. I can yeah. already see this now being like a like a like a, like a trending thing on social media. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. that's what you're into, though, right? He wants to be famous. He wants his 15 minutes, and it'll be his Megazord. I can't. I can't spend this. No, I can't spend yeah. this. Yeah. 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 See. See. Just means you're more, more <laughs> that's, that, 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 that's what's important, right? There you go. <laughs> Our good you... friend Chancy has said happy birthday, David. So hey, hey, it's hey, David's hey, birthday hey, today. It's, oh, my birthday. Birthday. it's my birthday. It's also the All anniversary right. of his favorite movie, Batman v Superman. Is it? it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. And which is funny because on my so you know in my previous life I did journalism, so we went to advanced screenings of films. So I remember my wife thought it'd be great. Like our whole family got these, got got tickets to see Batman v Superman on my birthday because it came out on my birthday, and I was so excited. We're gonna go to dinner, then go to Batman v Superman, and then I saw my advanced screening like the Monday before, and I'm like halfway through, and I'm like, crap, I gotta see this movie twice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, to death. Sad. Do you, do you want to go over the promos one more time? Absolutely. Since I went over them so fast, I'll try to speak slower this time. So, yeah, so go to bluefinbrands.com starting tomorrow for WonderCon. Uh, you know, we have a bevy of opportunities for you. We have some 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 rare items that were available during San Diego Comic Con, like the Tamashi items, the Blue Godzilla, Brawlius, uh Figure at Zero, the Vegito uh, Figure at Zero. The Vegito is $65, Brawly. And Godzilla, $85. Uh, 
Uh, we also got some cool Shogun deals up there. We have the six Keyblades for $36. Uh, there's a couple other uh, Shogun items there. There's a there's some Demon Slayer stuff, uh, some Ultraman. Uh, so so definitely check that out. Storm has some really, really cool stuff. Of course, we have the Motar that we've been offering for, for, for a little while now. Uh, it's the Bloody Edition. It was the New York Comic Con exclusive. Comes with the green skeleton instead of the the normal uh, you know bone skeleton, if you will. Uh, Storm also has a bundle uh, in honor of Zack Snyder's Justice League. You know we have Darkseid, Doomsday, and Lobo uh, Storm collectibles. They are incredible figures. Uh, they are being sold either separately or as a bundle for two hundred ninety dollars. Flame toys. You know we just saw those really cool things that are coming on the pipeline. You definitely want to get on that flame toys hype train right now. Uh, if you buy any of the flame toys transform all kits, you're going to get a Sentinel export stand. Uh, to hold them on, I just literally almost tripped on not, a non-existent bump on the floor. Hopefully, no one saw that. That's uh, a better nub. David's fault. It's a nub on the floor. It needs to be sanded <laughs> down. What is Clark doing? Uh, so yeah, if you buy one of the play, <laughs> the play model kits, you get this. It's an incredible stand. Like I said earlier, it's it is it is a really cool stand. Uh, and then of course, uh, right now for pre-orders on Studio Ghibli items, we have fifteen percent off. You know, we got a cool little dust to here. You know, we got uh, we got some other items. We got some plush uh, and uh, some just really great things from Studio Ghibli. I know everyone's excited about Ghibli right now because Ear Again the Witch just recently came out. Everyone's streaming everything on HBO Go, HBO Max. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, so that is everything. Make sure to go to bluefinbrands.com/contest uh, to enter in to win the final battle giveaway. Uh, it's going to be an SH figure arts for the final battle versions of Thanos, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, and the Iron Spider. Uh, it is uh, that contest is currently going right now, so you can enter those. Uh, and yeah, just make sure to go to bluefinbrands.com tomorrow uh, when our our WonderCon saving our WonderCon sale begins. The road to Comic Con starts. Uh, and uh, yeah, follow at Bluefin Brands across all of our social platforms. And I want to thank Justin and AJ and David for joining us, even though David is already on camera <laughs> admitted he's planning on murdering us, but <laughs> let that slide. It look, it just hey how it goes, man. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and if you are in the if you're in the Southern California area, I don't know when this Megazord's coming out, but we'll we'll start a little sign up list to, to get a large group together. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> if we if we double up, you know, we can we can share parts and we can make these symmetrical megazords that everyone wants and loves. And then blow them all no, up. No one. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll put them in a big pile and make them, make, make them explode. And then we'll have we'll one. probably get a Guinness World Record out of something like that. Oh, yeah. I, I See? Like That's how you spin it. There you <laughs> go. But, uh, yeah, so everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will be doing live streams tomorrow. Uh, so please join us tomorrow at 10 o'clock for our next live stream. Justin, what is our 10 o'clock live stream about? Our next live stream is going to be a deep dive into Zack Snyder's Justice League. So oh, if you have great. four hours or you've already spent your four hours, we are definitely going to be talking about it. Watch it again. Eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> and again and again and again. We're gonna we're gonna reenact it, the four of us. It's gonna be amazing. Oh gosh. Everyone yeah, gets, yeah. Uh, gets an hour part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we have, talk. Tell, we have to tell it like uh like Michael Pena's character from Ant Man. So check yeah. the Steppenwolf guy. <laughs> he's he's like he's got like a bandana. <laughs> yeah, it'll be great. And it'll be on ice. It'll be even more fun. Awesome. Justice League on ice. Yeah. So if you have any if you have any questions about Justice League, you know, uh, or thoughts, you know, definitely hit us up at Bluefin Brands and let us know your your thoughts on on Justice League, the Zack Snyder cut. Uh, you know how it compares to the Justice cut. Uh, you know what you thought worked, what you thought didn't work, what you loved, what you maybe didn't love. Uh, we will be talking about it all tomorrow at 10 a.m. So be sure to join us and follow at Bluefin Brands. So until next time, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye.